So welcome to the Ray Gosling archives. These are just some of them. There's not much space in here, but I'm after box 137, which hopefully is somewhere around here, 141. Aha, here we have it. Bit of a sad reason, obviously, for getting this, but it's uh, Ray's work with Lord Byro, aka, sorry, Dave Bishop, aka Lord Byro. And of course, um, Gosling funded Lord Byro to stand in some of his elections. And they also worked on a little script together, so I want to kind of work my way through this and see what we can find. Would it make military sense to halt the bombing during Ramadan? It wouldn't make military sense to announce up front what our intentions were during that period. It certainly wouldn't make military sense to afford uh, the Taliban regime, which has been under very considerable pressure in recent times, the opportunity of regrouping, reorganizing during a predictable period of time. That is not a sensible way to run a military operation. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I've never put the justification for action as regime change. We have to act within the terms set out in Resolution 1441, that is our legal base. But it is the reason why I say frankly that if we do act, we should do so with a clear conscience and a strong heart. The Brexiteer is an attractive little bird which was recently discovered in the sunny uplands of Nottinghamshire. I saw one the other day in Arnold, a small market town near where I live. It was sitting on the top of the Weatherspoon's pub chirping merrily away. The locals reckon it has a nest up there. I think Tim Martin, Weatherspoon's boss, should give it a free pint and some chips every day. I'm sure it would appreciate that. Talking of Weatherspoons, I've just put our new policy into our election manifesto. If it ever comes to pass, I hope I'll get a free pint and some chips every day, though I doubt it. <laughs> 